Alright, good day ladies and gentlemen, I'm very excited to bring you a very important update on VeChain because I think right now VeChain may be very close to the perfect spot to dollar cost average. Now folks, look, nobody can predict anything for sure, you know, I read the tea leaves, but nobody knows anything for sure, VeChain could very well break down and go to zero, but I am a big fan of buying on support and right now VeChain is sitting and is very close to support and I want to make the case as to why I think there's a confluence of reasons to think that this is at the very least likely to be a local bottom with VeChain and even if Bitcoin continues to shit the bed this is definitely not a bad spot to dollar cost average in my opinion so allow me to make the case folks like and subscribe hit that bell icon to be notified of new uploads and without further ado let me explain to you this art piece here now folks I know these are a lot of lines here but don't you worry these lines do mean some stuff and allow me to explain to you this stuff that these lines mean because these lines are telling me that this is a very good spot potentially speaking the dollar cost average our way into v chain folks v chain is in a mid to long term uptrend here in my opinion we got ma macro higher highs and we got macro higher lows we got a channel here with this top line uh top trend line acting as resistance and this green trend line acting as support folks Looking at this blue line here, we have the 200 simple moving average on the daily. And this yellow line, we have the 200 exponential moving average on the daily acting as resistance. The blue line acting as support. So, folks, I'm a fan of buying on support. This daily, which closes in the next two, uh, two hours, 10 minutes at the time of recording, seems like it wants to close above this moving average. If it can, that would be a good spot dollar cost average, in my opinion, because we have a confluence of reasons to think that there's strong support at these regions, folks. Looking at the VPVR over here, we can see there was a lot of volume being traded exactly where we are. This area is likely to act as support. As well, drawing a Fibonacci extension from the local bottom here, the, the local top, we can see that we have the 618 Fibonacci retracement coming in right at just about 10 cents, which is usually a very good spot to dollar cost average. Folks, personally, whenever I'm looking for a great spot to dollar cost average into something I like, I immediately bust out the Fibonacci retracement, measure it from the local bottom, local high, and when wherever the 618 typically is, that for me is usually a good spot to dollar cost average. So we have the 618. We also have our uh, VPVR right here. Notice this volume being traded at this area. We also have our green trend line here the bottom extremities of our channel right at just about 10 cents just over 10 cents acting as support so given our 200 day simple moving average our volume our 618 Fibonacci retracement our trend line here all at just about the same region i think it is a reasonable argument to be made that this is a very good spot to dollar cost average our way into vchain let's take a look at what our indicators are saying here folks looking at the weekly the weekly does look a bit concerning this could definitely lead to more macro bearish price action but looking at the daily there are signs there are some signs of some hope we got the histogram on the daily macd taken up we got the rsi approaching uh this uh, heavily oversold region we got the stochastic rsi uh, in the heavily oversold region starting to curve up maybe having a bullish crossover if we take things back down to the four hour here the four hour is really where we could see some signs of hopium and some signs of perhaps a relief rally incoming here looks like we're gonna have a bullish cross on the four hour, four hour macd um weighted macd looks like it's gonna have a bullish crossover uh rsi taken up here but more importantly than just the rsi starting to make moves to the upside here if we zoom into the four hour we can actually see bullish divergence where if you see th how this low here pairs with this low on the RSI and then this low here on the RSI pairs with this low on the price action that is bullish divergence folks let me highlight this so see we have an uptrend in the RSI higher lows in the RSI paired with lower lows in price action whenever we get that that's bullish divergence and typically indicates a reversal although not always so I would not be surprised if we have a bit of a relief rally here in the short term probably to test somewhere around 13 cents again another reason to think that this is not definitely not a bad spot to dollar cost average but let's take a look here at the price action again so 
Folks, while there is a lot going on here, I would really want to see VeChain start to maintain above 15, 16 cents. And in that case, I think we could see macro bullish continuation. Anything short of that uh, may just be a short-term balance and a short-term relief rally. We do have some trend lines here likely to act as resistance if the uh, uptrend in the relief rally uh, were to see bullish continuation. Now, if we go to the daily here, we can see a bit better how these uh, how these lines are drawn here. So these lines are drawn based off the daily closing, or based off the daily wicks here. All right. And some daily closes on the big on the uh, V chain price action here. So any relief rally, if we can start to spend time above these trend lines, I would see that as a sign that we could see bullish continuation. And for the super short term, getting above just over 12 three cents here, 12 three cents to about 12 and a half cents would be a very good sign that we could see bullish continuation because we would get above. Uh, this base of support slash resistance right here as we can see at this area this was resistance resistance broke above came back down to retest it support so this area is likely to be price reactive moving forward even over here see we found support there temporarily and we also have the 100 daily ema and sma right there so uh, this is where i'd want to see us get above if you want to see short-term bulls continuation this is where we need to get above if you want to see macro bullish continuation and uh, if we start to spread time below our green trend line here uh, that is when i would consider uh v chain to be uh no bueno and no longer short-term bullish but ultimately as long as VeChain remains above eight cents and doesn't put in a lower low below eight cents, then the macro trend is still bullish, folks. I am personally buying at these regions. Make sure you like and subscribe. Hit that bell icon to be notified of new uploads. Let me know what you think about this video down in the comments below. And until next time, folks, take care.